America is back in Vietnam. Not exactly the best wording to use, considering its appalling legacy of carpet bombing the country in the 60s and 70s. But Vice President Kamala Harris's first ever planned visit to Vietnam is claimed to have a noble aim. Keep in mind, the Biden-Harris' administration main message to the world is not supposed to make you cringe. But really though, can you help it? At least that was the reaction online. Vietnam, the nation we destroyed and who is still dealing with the aftermath of our last visit there. Kamala is an imperialist. Saying America is back in Vietnam conjures images of B-52s dropping DDT bombs on villages. Do you think if Kamala was asked how many Vietnamese civilian and soldier deaths America was responsible for over a 25-year period, that her guess would be even within a million of the actual number? I mean, seriously, America is back. That's the wording the U.S. went with when visiting a country it ravaged with a hideously toxic Agent Orange in the decades-long conflict? It's been almost 60 years since the chemical was widely deployed, and the Vietnamese are still dealing with the aftermath. That's all despite the assurances by Washington and Hanoi of their cooperation to clear up the horrific effects. It is necessary to continue to mobilize resources to accelerate the progress of dioxin decontamination in Bien Hoa Airport area. Seek more appropriate methods to provide medical care and employment for victims of Agent Orange dioxin in Vietnam. Vietnam has certainly not forgotten. Countless people are to this day living with the consequences of the atrocities the U.S. committed during its campaign. What the United States government did to Vietnam over 50 years ago. We all know what the United States government did in that country. You know, it was that war was horrifyingly brutal against the Vietnamese people. The United States was responsible for committing atrocities every single day during that war. Not only the Vietnamese people, but the Laotian people and the Cambodian people. I mean, we committed mass murder in those three countries on a daily basis. And really, sending Kamala Harris? That's just adding insult to injury. So far, her track record hasn't been all that great. Some would say it's been disastrous. Her most spectacular failure so far being the U.S. southern border crisis, a task she was specifically appointed to handle. Yet, it took her months to even visit the scene. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris screwed this up. And let's not make the pandemic worse by making this crisis at the border even worse than it already is. It's been a month since Biden borders our Kamala Harris hopped off of her jet for 90 minutes for a photo shoot near the border, which she dubbed as a southern border visit, and still nothing has changed. Sending in the least popular person the U.S. administration has to such a painful spot as Vietnam is kind of sending mixed messages to those who still suffer. But either way, watch out. America is back. You know, I'm not sure the intricacies of what um, Kamala Harris is supposed to accomplish there. But you, you, one of the things you have to remember that a lot of people think that the United States is a democracy. You cannot, absolutely cannot be a democracy and a global empire at the same time. Because the United States goes into to third world countries and we destroy their democracy so we can, so we can exploit them. That's what we do.